Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video review and in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Transformers Studio Series number I believe 9 Wrecker. Now this is part, now he is brand new and of course because I mean he recently just came out and I am super super excited about how this figure looks and how he is engineered and designed. I am really impressed with this one. It's really gonna impact with my collection. I'm really happy to have a wrecker in my channel and my collection. So without further ado, we're gonna go on ahead and take a look at the vehicle mode first. So just to point out, the weapon back here does fall off quite easy. I don't, nope, see, like if you barely poke it, it just falls out, but I'll keep it off for now. Is it supposed to peg the peg right there? Don't know why it's not focusing. The peg right there is supposed to peg in right there. So for this vehicle mode, it is quite nice. It rolls decently if these are like kind of put up just a bit. Like, but it really won't. These don't with the wheels the way they are with the spikes. Um, it stands on these two legs to kind of keep that up um it's really nice uh this can go i don't think it can move that's good um the handles can be articulated for any kind of figure you are using um he does kind of have pointy spikes outside the tires here as we can see there um he does have a couple gun turrets up front not bad look pretty good um, then he does have a couple packs on each side here, which can be articulated. I prefer to keep them like that. Um, of course, he does have the fuel cap there. Of course, you can see uh, the mileage and speed there at the back of his head. Um, you can see kind of something that would be his light, but I think it's the grill the way it looks. Then of course you do have, you know, translucent light what uh, light blue for the plastic there. Uh, the tires are neatly done. You do have some light gray there and you got some yellow with some, you know, red painted details for the spikes, which I mean, like I said, don't move quite well. Um, the seat is quite well done. I will go on ahead and now demonstrate to y'all. So you just go on ahead and put your figure of choice there and let him hold on to the handlebars right there. Do the same for the other side. Like so. And there you go. You have Hot Rod fully, you know, riding on him like so. He does fit quite well on this figure. I mean, it really looks spot on the way it looks. It kind of makes this figure look a bit bigger, which is really cool to see that the 86 is, you know, applying this kind of stuff to the figurines. And I will now go ahead and take this off. And we're gonna go ahead and get him into robot mode. And here we have Wrecker fully transformed into his magnificent robot mode. So without further ado, we're gonna go on ahead, you know, take a quick look at the robot self. So first and foremost, I want to point out is that this figure looks really good. I like how this figure looks. It's really well done and designed well. Um, I have no complaints about transformation. It is quite simple. Uh, transformation, like once you transform him once, looking at the instructions, it is not all that bad. Um, his weapon does store on the back, of course, with that peg. And of course he can hold it. Sorry about that. Gotta go ahead and pick him up. Kinda looks like he's holding like those wind things that you know you get the dollar store. Even though it's supposed to be his weapon, but in my opinion, it kind of looks like it. Um he does have a wheel here, which they do come off like so. They go on ahead and just peg in like so. And then he also will have a tire right here. Uh, the face sculpt is very well done. Um, his arms do kind of suffer just a bit. You can kind of see just a bit through it. 
Same goes with the other arm. One thing I don't like about it, and his chest has guns on him. Yeah. I never really, wa I never watched the 1986 movie yet. I do intend to watch it soon. But, I mean, this is really cool. Uh, he does have, I'm going to go ahead and line him up. And he's not all that bad. The problem is when you're trying to pose him, this part on pegs right here on the back. So you got to be careful about that. But other than that, this figure really does show his colors. Um, he does have some really cool, you know, got brown. I think that's a uh, bit of a brown there as well. But a bit of a lighter one, chocolate brown. So for some reason, his legs look like chocolate bars in a way. Sorry to point that out. Uh, but of course, the tires on him do spin. Um, I like overall, the spikes on here show. I just kind of wish there was a way to shorten them. I just don't like how long they are, but I guess it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, that's roughly about it for, you know, Voyager class. I'm going to go ahead and send back just a bit more that we can see them. But that is roughly about it for Voyager class Rekar. Hope you all did enjoy this review. Be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys thought of this figure. And I will go on ahead and end the video now. Thanks for watching, y'all.